Hello my friends, it's DIYs by Dar. One of the few times that you've seen me on camera. Here I am. I am I'm five weeks post-op for my second hip replacement. I'm trying to get things back in order health-wise and I really want to get going on furniture. I ordered myself a new sander and it is from Skill and I'm going to review that for you. First thing, always read the instruction booklet, which I did. Second thing, always make sure you have safety glasses on to protect your eyes. I have this table, which I started before my hip surgery, um, that it's been a real problem. I've tried sanding it, was taking too long for the inpatient soul that I am. I tried stripper, which was just extremely a large mess. So now I've gotten the skill saw and also some special pads that I'm going to put on my orbital that are supposed to kind of replicate um, a surf prep type sander where they're soft and cushiony. And I do have some more coming from surfprep.com that are just a little bit different shape so I can cut them and incorporate them on my new uh, skill sander. So I'm gonna open up the box and let's see what's in here. Well, I opened it and, and I took the instructions out, but that was as far as I went. And this may not even be what I want and oh well, it was not a big investment. Um, not like a surf prep the sander which cost at least six hundred dollars here it is yeah, it looks like I could fit it in my hand pretty good the size is pretty good but the, the reason that I bought this one was it came with these special attachments that you can put on the end to get in different areas um, a little bit more of a pointed end and they, they have that I guess they call that hook and loop where you can um, hook the paper right on there. And this one actually is soft itself, which is for like spindles, doing spindles on a chair. And this one they call the uh, fingertip, so you can get in between or into really tough spots. So it does come with its own filter. Um, I'm hoping that I can take my vacuum cleaner and, and Hook it on the end of here. Uh, although in the instructions it says not to, I'm not really sure why. Uh, but I think uh, I'm going to give it a give it a try. Uh, I do have a special attachment for my orbital um, that came with the orbital for me to go ahead and hook that up on the vacuum because I really don't care to have all that dust around in my basement area where um, I'm working on this table. So let's hook up this sander and let's see what we get. Okay, they sent 120 grit and I'm just going to try this on the top of this table and see how good it is. Great, has a lot of power. Um, let's see. Looks like we did get some fine dust inside there. Well, now I'm going to pull this piece of paper off. And let's try the attachment. So, you have to push that to one side. And that allows you to take off one and let's try well I'm not I'm not really gonna try this one I'm not I'm not you know really hepped up about this one because this is actually the same as what the regular one is basically the same uh, and it doesn't have any of the, the holes in it so I'm not gonna try that one that's gonna be kind of the same but let's try this finger one. Put it on there. 
and then push the knob. Feels pretty secure. And they did send me some paper for that. Let, let's see what we got. I'm gonna guess it's probably the same grit. Yeah, it is 120. They didn't send a lot. You can get refills. You're gonna put that little piece of sandpaper on there. See as straight as I can. Let's try to do this little groove here with this. Let's give her a go. That seems to work pretty good, except for the dust is not really going up because, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't have the hole so it's going to go around in your house. So, um, the other one is for spindles. So let's try that. Just a tiny little square. And what I liked about this one is you see how it kind of gives. So it's supposed to go around spindle. Put that paper on. Let's put it on the machine. Alright. Okay. Well, I guess I did not have it snapped in. Okay, it's on. Um to try to go a little bit lower here. Okay, I am gonna try the attachment for spindles and see how that goes. it off and see what we got here. Well, that looks pretty good. Um, it's still going to take me a bit of time to get all of the um, lacquer off the top. Um, they put a really nice coat on this. It's a solid oak table, so but they are the soft pads and it very much is supposed to be like surf prep sander heavy duty system you can see it's got the hook and loop and this should stick to the actual sander so I'm believing you line your holes up and it should go this way Seems nice and secure. Okay, I put the uh, attachment on with the vacuum and I'm gonna see how that's gonna work. And I don't have a dust collection system. I'm just gonna use this vacuum, but I will warn you, um, make sure it's a vacuum that you're willing to sacrifice and give up and throw away because once you start getting that fine dust in there, it kind of ruins it and after a while it just doesn't pick up as much and I think that's the whole idea behind getting a dust collection system. I don't sand that much right now so it's not something that's in my budget but I put the little squishy pad on there and I went for the big gusto here we've got a 60 grit so I'm gonna line these holes. It's probably a little bit easier, but you still, uh, well, <laughs> easier, but I need to put my devices in there a little bit tighter. I didn't because I wanted to be able to take them apart, and that's sometimes difficult for me. So, I'm going to give this uh, little pad that I bought to make this kind of like a original surf prep sander. Uh, I, I'm going to give it probably a, an 8. Looks like 
it's going to help me get this top off. Okay, let's do a little update on sanding uh, on the table I'm working on. I purchased through Amazon, and I will put the link, a particular pad that I found that is oh, squishy, foamy, and it has the hook and loop on the one side, and this side will hook directly to your orbit, orbital sander, and I have one on my orbital sander. And then you can go ahead and you can just take like your regular sandpaper and put it on there. And I think that's the closest that I can come to a surf prep and just to see if I liked it without the expense. The other thing that I did is I bought some rad pads, which are great. I can see how those would be helpful um, just sanding in between for something real quick that's a little bit softer to use. And I bought some pads and they have the foam and they also can stick on anything that's hook and loop. I was hoping that they would come in big sheets and then I could cut them the way I wanted to and put them on my different attachments. But um, in using just one pad, um, I was able to get a small square one, put a, a triangular one on one of my attachments and then also make a finger size one for my finger attachment. So I have been using them. They seem to work okay. The only thing is I ordered somehow two boxes of medium came and I don't think I ordered that but that's all right. I needed something a little bit tougher. I was watching a 10 minute Tuesday with Cristana from Bella Renovara and she was going over the sandpaper and thank goodness my sanity has been saved because she said you need to go down to the 60 grit when you've got a factory finished surface and you're trying to get that off and that's what I'm dealing with and I'm ready to go crazy. I have all different kinds of sanders I've been using and I'm going to go back to that skill saw that um, I just purchased and the one attachment that is for spindles, the part that I can see is going to be a problem. You can see where it's wearing out right on the very ends and pretty soon this thing is just going to break through. And I thought, well, the way it looks, you know, maybe you can purchase that and just put a new sheet on. But these are not really screws, they're rivets. So you'd have to probably take that apart and, and uh, get some small screws and and replace it, repair it that way. I don't think it's out of the impossible realm to do that, um, but I have seemed to like this, and the reason the corners are like that is getting up in some corners and putting a little bit of pressure on it. So, that's what I have found out, and I'm not really sure if a surf prep sander itself, they're very expensive, Maybe if I did some more sanding, I might purchase one. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these pads that are spongy and cut them and attach them to some of my other sanders. And they were $20 a box, and you get quite a few in a box, so I think probably for $20 it was worth it. You can see the cut parts I have left over sitting there. But I'm going to go out and I'm going to continue to sand on my beast out here. Um, I live in Michigan and it is cold out and snowy out. It's March and we're just blessed with these couple days of above 50 degrees temperatures so I'm out there and I'm sanding on this table and this table has been a bear